So uh, those were some interesting uh, inputs uh, from Vinkamandra Tineja about uh, his life and uh, his opinion on certain things. What we are now going to do is we are just going to uh, make the mood a little lighter. Uh, having spoken about all these uh, heavy things, let's try and uh, get to know uh, Vinkamandra Tineja here uh, on a personal level. And what we are going to do is we are going to put him in the line of fire. Not like the kinds you had to experience uh, in your uh, 21 years in the defense. But uh, yeah, we we'll just ask you some uh, questions uh, which uh, probably you can answer in a, in a line or two. Shall I say, shoot? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would be the most appropriate thing to say. So uh, one thing you love uh, most about your job? Uh, being in a position to positively impact the people, whatever uh, field they are in, positively impact. Positively impacting yeah, people. Yeah. Favorite destination to travel to? Any lonely place like forest mm -hmm. or beach. And not any specific, but uh, forest of Sikkim are frequent haunt yeah. and escape. Favorite food, cuisine? Uh, you foodie? Uh, not foodie, mm -hmm. but my favorite food uh, used to be stuffed uh, bitter gourd. Okay. which somebody happened, happened to ask me what is your favorite food and I told him and uh, my favorite party from that Air Force Station, I got stuffed karelas at each and every party. So I, <laughs> <laughs> these days I refrain telling you. Know. But you still love Yeah, I still love that. Yeah, stuffed, <laughs> stuffed karelas, I love. Uh, a book that has inspired you the most? The book which inspired me the most was uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. A long, a very old book. I, mean, I don't know whether people have read it now or not. Richard Richard Bach was a writer. It's about a uh, seagull who wants to fly. And uh, I found lots of uh, similarities of my life. And I have always, you know, fallen back on some passages, some situations in that book because this fellow wants to fly. He's a, he's a misfit in that colony, mm -hmm. and nobody likes him to fly. Like, so it uh, he, he, uh, uh, he, does, he doesn't give up. Yeah. He wants to try, try and be better and better and better. Yeah. And uh, then come back and tell others how it is to fly and teach others. So this is like, you know, in brief, my life's history uh, written much in advance. Like, I, I find it like that. Uh, any role model you have? Role model as such uh, were mostly authors. So uh, living authors, uh, I have uh, in management, on this thing, Marshall Goldsmith is, and uh, I had uh, read many of his books and then I was very happy that one leadership course I was attending in this uh, Golds, Marshall uh, was there yeah. and uh, I could interact with him. That was about six, seven years back now. I've been in continuous touch with him. I attended many courses with him, and uh, so he is my role model. And uh, uh, have you ever had like a fanboy moment where you wanted to meet someone you chased and finally? Well, so I would put again Marshall. Marshall. Goldman. Marshall. Yes. yes. Uh, he is a simple man and uh, with clear ideas. The simplicity resonates with me because I don't want to complicate things, and I want to make it easier for others also, for myself also, and uh, his ability to put things in perspective very simply. That's what I like. What, according to you, is your most annoying habit? What, according to me, my most annoying uh, habit is putting off the things till the last minute. Okay. Uh, I feel that... Procrastinate. I'll not say procrastinate, because it never goes beyond the deadline. Okay. Uh, I like, I think I uh, create pressure. I work under pressure, like to create pressure for myself. Okay. And then I know when it's time now, now push it to push the it. urgency. <laughs> and then I'll okay. get into it. Uh, but I think it is not liked by many others, you know, especially my wife who gets ready in three days in advance if she has to go out <laughs> like that. <laughs> Does he keep it for the last? Last, yeah. Uh, any movie that you have kind of walked, stopped watching or walked out of a movie theater? Long back when I was in class 8th or 9th. I had gone to see a movie called Jyot Jale, yeah. <laughs> in that uh, burning flame sort of thing, or lighting the lamp. 
I walked out of halfway through because it resonates so much with my life and it shook me so much I couldn't afford to see it fully in the sense that it was about a student who bunks classes to watch movies and, and ends up becoming a beggar. <laughs> okay. So I had to, I got out in you know, sheer fright but did I, I did watch it again and it impacted a lot. It impacted a lot. So that was the only movie which I walked out. What irritates you most, gets under your skin? People not keeping the promises. Yes, if you say you'll do it, you do it. If you can't say, can't do, don't do. Or tell whether you can do, not do, try your best, whatever. If you say you're trying, you're trying your best, and try. Don't make false promises. This irritates me a lot. I get, only thing I get annoyed is this. So, if not an HR, I think teacher, teacher, teacher. counselor. Teacher. Yes, I like I like uh, to help others to become better. Yeah. Uh, so the line of fire ends there, but uh, we will still give you. Our, we'll come to our final uh, fun uh, round, which is uh, it's called the rock and a hard place. So I'm going to give you two options. Hmm. You have to choose. Okay. Uh, if you want to justify why you have chosen that, it's up to you. If you don't, it's. Uh, okay. No compulsion as such. So, Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Okay. LinkedIn, Facebook. LinkedIn. That's an easy. <laughs> no, answer. I'm not on Facebook at all. I don't I'm like. Not on Facebook. At no, all. no. Okay. Uh, cricket, football. 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 Short. Everybody has a part to play. <laughs> okay, it finishes. <laughs> and uh, you, enough energy and action. So, T20 must be something that you kind of enjoy. No, still it is uh, revolving around one person and this fellow or one bowler and one batsman. I don't like that. So you like the whole team? Yeah, it's a teamwork I like. Uh, physics, chemistry? Difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> it both equally or love both equally? No, I think now uh, if you take out the equations part or formulas part, then I will go for physics now. I, these days I'm quite interested in quantum physics. I'm uh, reading a lot on that. So, physics? Yeah, yeah. Uh, movies or music? Music. You can interpret, you can uh, create, you can listen to your choice. You can think. Mm. Movies make you, not make you think. Leave your brain home and see what this fellow wants you to see. Yeah. His interpretation. Uh, in terms of exercise, weights or cardio? Weights. Weights. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think you mentioned you were in the weight like Yeah, yeah. I still uh, maintain that. Not weightlifting, but I go to gym, yeah. and uh, cardio is only say 10 minutes, and uh, weights are about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. uh, books, hardbound books, uh, or Kindle? It's a difficult thing, you know. Uh, Kindle is more uh, practical. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my books are now on Kindle, but I have a big library. I, I I was forced to part with my library. Every time I moved out, I had to give the books. So at Kindle now, but book, uh, holding a book in hand is different. Yeah, yeah, different. yeah, different. So you have to choose? Sa suppose same book is there, available in Kindle, and same is in paper book, mm. paper, uh, this thing, so I would pick up that paper book. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you an early morning person or late night person? Late night. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, the last minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, last minute. Uh, iOS or Android? Both. <laughs> I uh, I <laughs> <laughs> then uh, Android. Android. It gives you freedom to do what you want, yeah. what you can experiment with so many things. Uh, iOS uh, puts you in a this jacket, you know, you know so which I don't so it's like. Convenient, but it no, I, I don't like. Though I use iPad and uh, this, thing, but I don't like Android. I like more. Sure. Uh, in terms of uh, clothing, are you like a formal or a casual person? Given an option. <laughs> Given an option, casual. Casual. Yeah. When I when I'm on work, I'm always in formals, right. and uh, beyond that, you'll find me in uh, uh, shorts and t-shirt and jeans and t-shirts always. So you're comfortable in. Oh yes, yes, both. Both actually. So uh, that uh, with that we come to an end of this discussion. Thank you so much, Avin Commander Tanija, for uh, sharing.
sharing uh, your experiences and your life journey with us. Uh, before we let you go, is there anything that you would like to, like we call this the pearls of wisdom that uh, our uh, guests uh, would like to share with our audiences. If there were any pearls of uh, wisdom, we would love to hear from you. One thing I'll uh, like to tell to the youngsters, and uh, this was first lesson which I learned my, in Air Force. Uh, my first boss, Wing Commander Jagannath Rao, he didn't teach it to me, but uh, in sense uh, he forced this lesson on me. I had gone for some uh, work with him, and some program was to be done, and then I gave, him, I told him, sir, it can't be done because mm -hmm. shortage of time, next day something was to be done. And he stopped me then and there. He says, stop. He says, Don't tell me it can't be done. Tell me how it can be done. And uh, that changed my whole mind. Instead of looking at the problem, I started looking at the solutions. So if one thing I can tell others, youngsters especially, when they start their career in the corporate, don't go with the problem in the mindset of why it can't be done. Tell me how it can be done. That is one so good thing. solution. It, it makes you think. It forces you to find out alternatives. It, it forces you to think beyond out of box. Like uh, once I say you have to go, tell me how, mm -hmm. then find the way. Sure. If you say I can't go, either I have to accept that, mm -hmm. and you will also accept it. Sorry, can't. There, there is no other way. So. Uh, Whereas youngsters should be experimenting, checking out new things and using their ingenuity and uh, originality. That's how these startups are there. Don't tell me why it can't be done. Tell me how it can be done. That's the only my pearl of wisdom. Pearl of wisdom. <laughs> Thank you so much, Avin Commander Tanish. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Nair. Thank you.